Hi, my name is Alexi. Today we're going to talk about generative AI and large language models. AI assistants and large language models can help network engineers, infrastructure developers to accelerate their work, perform troubleshooting, handle errors, validate config files, etc. AI assistants and large language models expect a prompt. A prompt is a piece of text that includes your descriptions, requests, questions, or instructions. The AI assistants or large language models returns a completion. If we consider open source large language models, we can highlight the following use cases when this can be helpful. For example, you want to keep data secure in your service or laptop. You want to fine-tune open source large language models with your data. Or you want to switching between large language models based on your needs and use cases. During this video, we will play with Llama. It's tool that allow us to work with large language models locally on your laptop or on your server. Using Llama, you can play with open source or open access large language models on your laptop. They have different version depend on operation system systems like for Mac OS, Windows, Linux. Google recently released Jima model. On this website you can see comparison between Jima and other open source or open access large language models. Now we will navigate into the terminal, check whether we install all Llama properly. And then you can pull latest large language models that you want to work. And in our case, we will play firstly with Jima. And uh, we can also set pre-prompt, pre which is taken in the, into account each time when we enter a prompt into the model. Let's set it. Set system and paste our prompt. Prompt set correctly. Let's check it out show system yeah here is it now first our request should be like what is container scanning use at most 30 words let's wait for a completion in this prompt we using also guidelines guidelines usually can help make LLM's completion more accurate. In this case, we will limit it completion at 30 words. Here is it. Sure, container scanning is a process of identifying vulnerabilities in container by analyzing their images and running security assessments. So let's try with the following prompt. For example, you work with Cisco Umbrella API and you want to know what payloads should look like for generating OI OAuth token using API requests. And we also use guidelines. We asking model to structure output in JSON.
So here is our Jima completion for the following prompt like all stocking payload using API requests. So here is our completion of Jima model. You can see that its structures also in JSON format and there is a additional nodes where users can understand which values they should paste in this JSON like client ID, client secret that we can retrieve from Cisco Umbrella dashboard and setting related grant type. Next, we will play with LLAMA. LLAMA is an open source, to be honest, it's open access, free for research and commercial use model from Meta. Again, we will use LLAMA CLI tool to run a llama from Meta. We will use the following prompt. I received error 429 response status code while using WebEx API. How can I avoid this? And the completion is very good. Llama suggests us to limit the number of requests. Also mentions that should, they should be rate limiting if we paste our related code samples in Python. They also can suggest how we can fix it. Next model we will run Mistral model. Mistral model it's open source with Apache to that all license. Let's run Mistral Lama run Mistral and as a prompt we will use prompt when we asking classifying information. I also adding guidelines. First I asking to display completion as a separate list and I also asking to add other category and needs clarification if the option is uncertain. And what we see here, Cisco switches, it's Cisco Catalyst 900, there was a one tricky option like Cisco Catalyst 9120AX, which is not a switches, it's an access point, but none of model that we will consider in this video don't recognize it. But the rest completion looks very good. Cisco security solution uh, like uh, here we can see Cisco umbrella, Cisco XDR, Cisco secure firewall. Uh, other options of course is Cisco Webex is a collaboration solution and uh, they also include needs clarification when models think that not enough information or options should be applied to different categories. That's it. Thanks for watching this video. Please share in comments which 
branch language models do you prefer to use? Thank you. Bye.